Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of What Horse? Horse of the Year honors, bunch of good ones. Yep, it was a bunch of good ones. By the way, Jerry's with me today. That's right. Hey, I forgot shit. Well, go ahead. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And J.D. Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book, too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback. Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to Winter Circle and tell them what a horse sent you. The Tennessee Walking Horse is a perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. I do want to do one. I want to congratulate R.M. Kelly. Yes, he he well deserved that. Hey, he he deserved he that. Deserved, he works big he's a hard time. Working. He, he, every man. time you look up, he's in the ring. I'm gonna tell you another. One. Kayla Ball. Yeah. Assistant trainer of the year. Uh, she she does that girl work. Buddy. Yeah, she works hard. I mean, she's at it constantly. She goes to it. Uh, you you can't every time you go out there to the barn. I see her more working more than I see anybody else. Yeah. I believe she's... Uh, oh, she works hard now. She's decorating that celebration barn, and she's out there all the time. And she's a, a hard worker. Well, we've got uh, several uh, that we're going to be showing videos today that got horse of the year. Well deserved. We got some that we, we don't, we won't be showing video of them, but they still, minor ordeal. Yes. I thought, I mean, I'm a big minor ordeal fan. And Sister Milligan, heck, if the gate was open, she was in the ring. Yeah. And uh, I still think she probably tried to slip in a stick horse class or two. <laughs> uh, that woman would show a wild goat if they'd let her. But there, there's a lot. Chris Alexander. Yeah. I mean, he, he could win that every year. Yep. That's right. He really he could. Is. He's, a hard, he's, he's a working <laughs> hard. He's the backbone. Hey, he, he's, he's, a, he's a pistol. Yeah. No doubt mm -hmm. about it. But I've I looked down all the... Horse of the Year awards and everything, and there was some that I thought were well deserved uh, by far, yeah. and then others, you know, you kind of wonder about. But everybody's got their opinion. Everybody got their opinion, you know, and everything, you know, is there for a reason. No, yeah. well, everything happens yeah. for a reason. That's uh, right. Uh, different people vote on it, so you you can't question it. 
I mean, it, it's the way the votes turned out. So if you don't like a horse win, you should have got to vote a lot more for the horse yeah. that you wanted to win. Well, you know? just get on the phone and start politicking around. Yeah, that's right. Because one lady told me, she said, it, that's what it is. It's politics. But a lot of these horses that, that won and uh, uh, that was reserved were well-deserved, yeah. well-deserved. Uh, the only one that I, I, I couldn't understand was there, but there was one horse that hadn't been beaten four, in two years. And uh, he, he didn't get it, but maybe they did, just didn't politic enough. I yeah. don't know. It'd be like a, a picking out an ice cream cone or something. You, you it, exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> There's always a way to do it. But I'll tell you what we are going to do, Jerry. We're going to go back to Tunica because we got some victory passes from there. That was a great show to end the season. It on. was. It was hey, a good show, real good show. By far. The ones that put that show on done a real good job with it. Well, it was a joint effort. Yeah. Everybody, everybody had their two cents worth in it. Yeah. And they jumped right in there, come up with it. Uh, and, and everybody's coming up with different ideas to have barn parties and uh, uh, different horse shows for different causes. I'm hoping someone does something and we start an academy again. Yes. I, I loved it when we had these academy shows. The kids got out, they had a good time, the parents, everybody was there. So, But let's go to Tunica. That'll work. All righty. This is a real big class right there. Oh, yeah. Slim and hot and Robert Norch. And this was a big fan favorite. Robert's tickled with that horse right there, and he's looking forward to showing him. He made a good show down there. I think he finished, what, third? Yeah, that's a nice horse. And that class was a real good class down there. Well, sometimes you walk in there and uh, you, you get in high cotton quick. Yes, you're right. That's a, count. That's a cotton place down there. <laughs> Jose, it ain't so. The canner winner and Jake Jacobs. I know he was, uh, he was in the running for horse of the year too. Yeah. Jake and his family, now I'm gonna have to say, Allie Jo, she showed 40 something times this year. I like that horse right there. You know, I guess if you have the horses, show them. That's it, show them. You know? Ombre in black and Jake Jacobs. We're going to hear a lot about that horse in the future. I guarantee you, guarantee it. He, he's got the build, he's got the stride, he's got the motion, he's got everything it yeah. takes. He just needs a little working, and he's going to get better. And better. Jimmy and Sam will get him there. Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll get him there. They'll get him there. And Chris, can't leave Chris yeah, out. Chris. Chris being there helping. Yeah. Right there is uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald. You know, a conversation we was having the other day, me and you and a couple of trainers, Bruce McDonald is one of the very well thought of people in this Oh, yes, industry. he is. Everybody had something good to say about Bruce. He is. Got good horses, and he, he's a good jockey. They got a real yeah. big hoy. Oh, yeah. Good person. Yes, he is. Gets it done. And right there she is, Cole Hahn and Allie Joe Jacobs. Big old horse, a little bitty girl. She's making a super rider. Oh, she, I'll tell you what now. She's making a super rider. She's going to keep getting yeah. better. Coach Cal, all she does is just get a different man. Yes. And she is ready to go. Well, it's good for her to ride different type of horses, it learning is. how to sit. I sit different type of horse holding reins, because all horses do different. Some of them you gotta take a hold to, some of them you gotta and use. Riding off the flat shot is a lot different yes, too. Yes, it is. 
Here's honors image in Tanner Birch for Shane Porterfield, your four-year-old Marion Gildin winner. That's a nice hole. Tanner's doing a real good job over there. He's them Tanner boys now. They're they're making good training. Yeah, they are. Well, the dad was a real good guy to train horses too. Oh yeah. He got made though. He can shoe them, shoe ride them, them, train them. Yeah. Now here's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Allie Joe in first night out. She just likes to show. Yeah. Right. Her daddy had to buy her a trail pony just to ride around the farm. All that does is help, help her just that much more riding and stuff like that when you ride them different. The more you ride, the better you get at That's it. That's right. Kim Lewis is awful proud of this horse right here, and I don't blame her. He's a good one. He can get it done. Got everything it takes. This horse is getting better and better every year. I tell you what, he's looking good right there. There's Epic and Megan Hammond for Shamrock Farm. You show pleasure amateur championship. We can sit here all day and talk about oh, that yeah. horse. You're right. He just uh, he just keeps on winning, racking up the roses. That was a good show down oh, yeah, it there. Was you, a good couldn't, show. you couldn't beat that show because they had some great horses. Everything went well. Did the whole thing. Yeah. I think this time I will do it and I will take us to commercial. Now we'll go ahead and try that right there. All right. Uh, let me get. <clears throat> we'll be right back after this moment for our sponsors. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls, and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communication. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports, they even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. How'd I do? You, you done a good job. I'm not, I see it now. I'm going to have to do a little bit more practicing. You can't outdo me. I got to work on it a little bit more. I got to sleep on it now. Yep. Sleep on it. I got to sleep on it. I'll sleep on it. <laughs> All right, we're going to get started with some Horse of the Year awards. And I'm going to tell you, we're going to start out with a with a good one. Coach Cal. This, I'm going to tell you, throughout the year, this horse has got better and better every week. Every time you see him, he's better. And been in the ring, 
a bunch of times. The that horse have he's well, he's a nice horse, and she's a good rider. Well, they just keep working at it. Yes. I mean, he's won multiple times. He's been reserved multiple times. But the point that I'm making is he's consistently in the ring. Yes. And that, to me, that makes a major difference when it comes to Horse of the Year awards. So. Here's one that well deserved. Well, you know, riding, you know, with her riding different horses, that's a lot for, for a young kid to realize how to ride which one, and that's, that tells a lot. But a rider. Well, even her performance horses, her pony, the coach cow, yeah, Kohan, all of them are different. Yes. So learning they that different difference games. right there, it, mm -hmm. it does. It, it just makes a better rider out of her. Makes her want to do more and more next year. Yeah. So hey, reserve horse of the year in the show youth show pleasure division. Can't ask for a whole lot more. And right here is one that I am real proud of. Dark Rain. This horse showed in open competition, amateur pony competition. It showed everywhere, consistently winning. Yes. And I thought Taylor did a fantastic job with him. So this, this horse walks, shakes its head, gets it done. Mighty good horse. Oh, yeah. Edgar does a good job training that horse. He does. He, him and his whole staff, you know, it takes a, a crew to do it. I like the fact that it, it's shown open and amateur. So what more can you want? What more can you want than one that can do it all? And, and I like the fact that it walks, reaches, uses his back end, and it's got the head shake. I don't like a horse that doesn't shake his head. And right there is one that, I mean, he's just getting with it, timed up just right. Taylor does a great job. Yes, yeah, she does a good job on it. I might take riding lessons from her. She probably can teach you. Anybody can teach me, Jerry. <laughs> I'm one of these old country plowboy riders. He sits horse. back and rides that proud. Head back up there to you right there. Yeah. Here's Amateur Novice of the Year, Reserve winner, Graydon Beach. Now, I thought this was a pretty good choice right yes. here because Jake's done a good job with him. They've won multiple blues. They've been reserved multiple times. But that's another one that they continue to show, and that's where I'm at. Yeah. The more they go into the ring, Boy, out they are to get my boat. I don't like that one or two, maybe three times a yeah. year. I want a horse that gets out there and shows, because it says a lot for the trainer, says a lot for the owner. It does. But a whole it's, lot for the horse. It's, it's a lot. And Jake's another one riding these different horses and yep. you know riding them different ways and different trainers and have different ways of put them in the ring. Just you know, different ways of going. Yeah. Got a lot of 
wall clerk. Yeah. Great Beach and Jake Jacobs, novice reserve horse of the year. And here's Mr. Heisman, elite 50 and over. I don't see how this horse could have ever, in all honesty, been reserved. He's done it all. It's a world grand champion, world champion. He, he's, you asked him and he's, done, he's an elite horse by himself. Yes. He really is. And I've never seen that horse have a bad class. Plus, now, he, he's in the old age section now. Oh yeah. He sure is. He's over 15 and still getting it done. He's just a walking machine. Nice old nice old. Oh, Lord, yeah. I like that horse the first time I saw him, and every time I saw him thereafter, I liked him. Yeah, but now he, he has won the world championship, world grand championship. He's done it in open, he's done it in amateur competition, and, and he just keeps winning. Keeps right on, right on winning. And Bruce McDonald, Robin, both of them have won on this yes. horse. It's a well-deserved honor. And right here, I picked this horse at the beginning of the year. I'm still picking him. Cavender, three-year-old stallion winner, horse of the year. Can't beat that, buddy. No, he's a nice one. He went through the year just wiping them out. He's gonna be better and better. Think about that four-year-old next year. Yeah. You never know. A lot of these four-year-olds been coming back and winning the state class. Can't and tell and me it. about it. So you don't never know. He hey, might he, be another one that's. He might. Be, he might pop in there on them next year. They can come yeah. back and. Say, hey, we got another four-year-old coming, because this one right here, he, something special about this horse, Jerry, when he walks in, that color in that mane, yeah. you say, what is that? I mean, he makes a statement. Beautiful horse. And can flat walk. Yeah. Look how he's timed up. I like when the head rear back up at you like that. Yeah. Nose in, ain't nose ain't sticking out. Everything in proportion. Just getting it in there and walking, saying, look at me, cause I'm a coming through. That's what you call a walking horse. Every day. Every day. All right, now here we go. This is this is good here. Lady Amateur Specialty. We had a tie. <laughs> we had a tie. Manning and she's limitless tied each other. So Taylor tied her mother. <laughs> I thought this was real neat right here, buddy. You got Manning, which Taylor showed a lot. And then you've got She's Limitless. That's pretty good. There was actually a three-way tie in there. But I thought that's pretty good. Yes. You had that you, your daughter's horse and your mother's horse, they yeah. tied for it. And this right here is Manning, and she's gonna be followed by She's limitless with Molly. I just think that is so cool. Yeah.
tell you what, this horse right here has won a ton. Oh, yeah. I mean, he is something special. Something special. And right there she is. She's limitless. And Molly Walters. That right there is, uh, it, that, that had to be something special for them. It really did. That mare had been a nice old mare for a long time too. Oh yeah, I mean she just sits and, I mean, flat walk. She can flat walk a hole in the ground, buddy. And it timed up. It just goes in there and, yes. and gets it done. And, and Molly, she just sits up there and lets it go. special night for them. Very special. You don't hardly see horses shake their head like that no uh -huh. more. No. Well, that's just the timing. That's right. I mean, that's what it boils down to is the timing. Right here, Uptight Jose, Men's Amateur Specialty Division Horse of the Year with Bruce McDonald in the saddle. He'd ask for a lot, but right yeah. there, watch the way he walks. Nodding that head, timed up, getting it done. and watch good horses all day long. Oh, yeah. I mean, they'd bring one right after another and I'd just sit there. They wouldn't even have to bring me popcorn. <laughs> Thing of it is you can sit back and watch these horses. Each one of these horses got their own way of going. Every one of them. They got a different way. They got something. One of them better one way than the other. One of them mm -hmm. got more back end. Mm -hmm. The other one got bigger front end. One of them got better head set, more head shape. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just the horse. What's really nice is when you got one that just kind of molds it all, all in together. there together. Yeah. I like a horse that got a good back end and a good head shape. Oh, I, I mean, do too. Be, and you gotta use legs on my front too. And here's Honey Bee and Taylor Walters. My Honey Bee. Tell you what, that was another one. That's yeah. just a continuous winner. Yeah. A good celebration. But now Taylor is a good rider. Yes, she is. She, she's a you good put rider. her on a horse and, and she's going to give you everything she's got. But you know them riders, Jerry, and a lot of people don't believe this, but you can tell when a person first ride a horse if they can ever learn how to ride one correctly. And you can just and you just see the way that they sitting and the way that they handle a horse. Well 
lot of it has to do with the nervousness. Right here you go. Four-year-old horse of the year, trainer of the year on his back, Mr. True Blue. This horse is a nice, he's a nice horse, consistent horse. He is. Every time I've seen him, that's what, right there is what you get. You know, way back at the beginning of this year, I called Spencer and I told him, I said, I, I'm gonna tell you right now, I believe you got the horse to be the beat. Well, he's had a good one, there's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. And he gets it done. Well, that horse consistent. I mean, every time you see him, I mean, he's... Well, that's what makes you great ones. You Definitely a good Plus consistent horse. Plus, the fact, they make good, most of them, 99% of them make good breeding studs, oh, too. Yeah. Of course, you gotta have a good mare, but these studs, they, they contribute their part. Grand Champion, now Horse of the Year. You know, he went over and uh, exhibited at MTSU yeah. too. The Big Blue yeah. had Mr. True Blue. <laughs> <laughs> I know Jake and them are tickled with him. Yeah. It's a match pair right there. Yep. Boy, he's flat knocking them pliers off. Yeah. And right here, honor and remember, well deserved. Well yep. deserved, because he's one of the greats too. I know Kim is tickled with this horse. She told me, she says, I understand a four-year-old is like a teenager. Don't know what to expect from day to day. They, yeah. <laughs> I guess she's right. <laughs> but I do like this horse. And this is one that showed in four-year-old and uh, in state class. Yeah. Uh -huh. So he didn't just show in the four-year-old division. He come out in the big class too. Yeah. Honor and remember. Dan does a great job. Dan does a good job. You ever notice how him and Jimmy both set a seat about the same. Yeah, I mean, they've been together for a long period of time. Did you watch him? He sits up there like Jimmy does. Yeah. Right here, what would be a horse of the year without Epic? Yeah. This right horse right here has done it all. You name it, and he has been there. So, horse of the year. That one was a no-brainer. I know you're saying they want to sell him. I'm gonna tell you, if you can get you a good juvenile or something like that on that horse and show him that juvenile show pleasure class, and I'm gonna but tell I believe you. he's still stood. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. I think he's still stood. That's get you a, right. an amateur. Your wife wants something? Call Mike. You might be able to talk him out of this one. It won't be easy. <laughs> I don't know if they're breeding him yet or not. I can see it now, son of Epic. Yeah. Epic's image. Another Epic. <laughs> Boy, I come up all you kinds all, of names. You got all kinds of names.
Here she is, Cole Hahn and yep. Allie Joe. I tell you what, Horse of the Year wouldn't be complete without them. There's a couple that, of our youth that yeah. when you get down to it, well deserving. Another nice horse. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, young lady, she she showed enough this year that uh, she, she 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 everybody knew who Ally Joe was. I, I counted up the time she was in the ring, forty-five. Man. And now that's, I mean, that's a whole lot of oh, show. Yeah, that's it. And remember, she was sick for a couple of weeks. She couldn't yeah. show. Well-deserved award for that young lady and her horse, Cole Hahn. And this one right here, well-deserved too. Eli, and it's the medalist. He showed a ton of times. James loves to watch his kid. Oh, yeah. That's a nice, that's a nice horse. He's a oh, yeah, that's a nice horse. And I talk about the way Eli rides. Now, he's yeah. a jockey. Yeah. These kids get a set of hands at this age. They just keep maturing as they get older. Yeah. Tell you what, when you look back on these horses, especially the youth, yeah, and the number of times they showed, boy, that's something. Yeah. Right here's professional show pleasure division, Georgia, Florida line. I know that Robert was tickled with this one, and well so, because this horse right here won a lot, but he won a lot in open, open, yeah, but, and amateur competition so even though he won the open division he did real good in the amateur division too that's just a that's a big bowl going horse yeah nice horse timed up Florida line. You know, that's your idea of show pleasure horse right there. It is. That's I mean, your ideal thing, show pleasure right there. That was goes nice, easy.
just gets it done. Yep. All right. There's nothing like ending it this way. Amateur specialty. She's limitless and Molly Walters. I am tickled to death for this team right here. Not only did she win the World Grand Championship, she come in, she was in the uh, Amateur Horse of the Year, and now she won the, the Amateur Specialty Division. She won it straight out. Great way to spend Christmas. Great way to spend Christmas. She is limitless and Molly Walters. I know she was tickled with that World Grand Champion. Oh yeah. And she deserved it, believe me. Nothing like ending it on nope. a note like that, you buddy, because right. that horse can flat walk. <laughs> he is a good horse. All right, have you practiced? Yeah. Uh, you ain't practiced. You've yeah, been I'm, sitting here with I, me. I, I've, been, I've been practicing. Oh, you've been thinking I've about been, it. I've been, been thinking, thinking about, about it. it. I've been thinking about it. All right, hit it. We'll be right back after these short messages for some more water horse. <laughs> Get your cat off from here, sit yourself in the rooms. Want everybody to know the rooms of the games we're here today? So! 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 Twenty six hundred here, and then fifty six and a half. Fifty six hundred. Here six. So fifty five hundred. You bought fifty five hundred. So left hundred. Mark call take. Call left hundred. You bought. So so so. You break one. Break the next one. That's the real deal, guys. Right here. Opportunity is knocking right here, Adam Johnson. Here's a horse to take it home. Right I said this, but so so so. You bought it. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, Jerry, I kept going back and looking at video and looking at video and looking at And then I decided I want everybody to see what it's like to come to a walking horse show and the youth, the way yes. they're involved. So we went back to what I consider one of the best classes of the year. Yes. And that was recent, the Fall Classic. And we're going to put this on the show and then upload the entire video to our YouTube channel so everybody can see what it's like to be a youth in the Tennessee walking horse industry.
Oh yeah. Every time you look, you see more and more people standing there waiting for them to come in. Yeah. The adults asked that for yeah. They wanted it too. It's a big thrill when you sit there and get called in one by one and get your name coming in. And everybody watching you coming in. does a good job on his horse. Oh, yeah. You can ask for much better. That's yeah. for a fact. It's just the excitement that a class like this. Yeah. I mean, that's a celebration class. Oh, right? yeah, that is. That young lady right there. Yeah, she sits up on a horse real nice. I like the kids or amateurs sit up on a horse and ride around like they're supposed to. That's what it's supposed to be done. Yeah.
Get Rowdy in there, ain't it? Yeah. Look at there. to end the show. Oh, yeah, that's there right. It is. And that was, that's just part of what these kids experience. That's why it's so important. Mm -hmm. People out there, you want something for your kids to do, get them involved get with them the involved. Tennessee Walking You're horse. exactly right. They keep them out of trouble. Yeah. Keep them horseback, up high, won't step in nothing. They, they, en they enjoy them horses. A kid love an animal. Well, I have noticed this. Once they get involved with these horses, it seems like they spend more time in a barn. You were right. Than, than they do any place else. Yep. I mean, wanting to do something, it's just. I got a uh, bunch of riding lesson kids that come and they ready to come and ride them horses. They just, I mean, and that and that's important. Matter of fact, we got people coming tomorrow that called me and wanted to know said we just want to ride a horse. Yep. And so we're we're gonna let them ride. Yeah, we sure will. I mean, that you got to get in, get involved in something. Get get involved with a walking horse because then the whole family can enjoy it. I mean. Even if you bought one and showed in flat shot class, you can still show all day long at one horse. Of course, you exactly right. Have fun with it. And that's that's what it's all about. Yeah. Well, we we've got different things going on. We've got to get ready for next year. There'll be different barn parties. Matter of fact, uh, we're going to one tonight for Dr. Bennett. Next week we will be having some interviews from a new vet that's yes. at Dr. Bennett's. So. Uh, I guess that's for this week. That's it. We'll see everybody next week. Yep. You gonna come back? Yes. I will show sure? Be, I show will be. You ain't gonna be training No. Uh -uh. You gonna come over we'll here? Come that, over that's here. a good thing. All right. We'll see everybody again next week. See y'all later. <laughs> Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down a low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking. Thank you.